Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Wadzanai Mercy and this is Inside Out. I know this channel is still fairly new and so if you were already a subscriber, thank you so much for the love and the support. And if it's your first time here on this channel, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you like the vibes and you decide to stick around and join the family permanently. Before I begin, I just want to start off by saying Happy New Year to each and every one of you. I wish you nothing but prosperity, joy and growth all throughout this year. I am super excited to be doing this video today because this is my first actual sit down video on this channel with you guys firstly. Secondly, this is my first video of the year and thirdly, today I'm going to be doing my vision board, my very first vision board and so I'm super excited to be bringing you guys along the journey and I really hope that you enjoy. One of my main aims for this channel is to inspire and to empower people to go after um, a better version of themselves or the best version of themselves and so I feel like having a vision board is such a pivotal aspect of that endeavor and that's why I've decided to make this my first video of the year. I know that 2020 was such a long and painful year that was filled with so much anxiety, loss, discouragement, changing of dates and plans. I know so many people who wanted to get married who couldn't, so many people who wanted to graduate who couldn't, so many people who wanted to go to school who couldn't go. Um, and to be honest, I cannot promise that 2021 is gonna be better. A couple of weeks ago, I was talking to my big brother and I was telling him about how I was planning to put some of my life plans on hold. And he basically said to me, Wadzi, life is what happens when you're waiting for the storm to end. You are literally living your life right now. Um, time is moving and this is not by any means like a productivity contest and I'm not trying to force anyone to like get over your issues and um, have your life in order immediately but I think this video as an act of hope and as an act of faith and just saying like yes there's a lot that I cannot do that I would want to be doing the most that I can do is learn to dance in the rain and to make the most of the situation that I'm in I'm going to be intentional about something even if it means being intentional about self-love, self-care, working on your peace, working on family, working on your anxiety and your mental health, then so be it. That's fine. It doesn't mean like start a business, read 50 billion books um, and make get a Nobel Peace Prize. It just means I'm going to set the goal this year to pick myself up again and keep moving and to find something to do and you know to make the most of the situation if okay so enough about that um back to the vision board so the first step of um coming up with the vision board and creating a vision board is to think of what areas of your life you would like to focus on this year so some of the areas you could focus on are spiritual well-being goals health goals fitness goals um dream purchases, financial goals, business goals, career goals, academic goals, um, family goals, personal goals, whatever goals you may be wanting to focus on, just reflect on those and write down like what areas of your life would you want to address. The second thing that I do is I start to reflect on those areas. What were those areas like last year? Um, what were my successes? What were my failures? What lessons did I learn? What were some of my financial principles? What negative relationships did I have and negative habits did I have last year that I don't want to carry on with in the upcoming year? And what were some of the positive things that I did last year that I would want to carry on with me in this year? Um, so just reflect on those areas because from there you can then begin to think about what you would want to see in your upcoming year. The third thing that I do and something that I would highly recommend to all of you is to consult God. God says, I know the plans that I have for you. Plans to give you hope, plans to give you a future, plans to give you an expected ending and plans to give you success. And so I know that a lot of the times we try to bust our brains trying to figure out like what am I going to do, what school am I going to go to but your whole life has already been written down. He already knows the plans he has for you. In Psalms 139, it says, all the days ordained for me were written in your book of life long before they came to be, which means it's already been written down. All we just need to do is to consult God and ask God, like, what do you want to do through me? What do you want for me? And what do you want from me? And commit to yourself to that. 
and he will definitely reveal it to you and i'm not just saying this just for the sake of saying it but i'm saying it out of experience that there's been so many times when i've entered a new year and i've asked god like what do you want for me in the upcoming year and he's revealed to me a word or a theme for my life and it's been so accurate it's been so relevant and it's been so impactful in my life and so i definitely recommend that you guys consult him as well and you speak to him and you ask him what it is that he wants for you and your 2021 so now that you have reflected on your past year and you've inquired from God about your upcoming year, now you can start to write down your plans, write down your goals, write down your vision for yourself and put it down in paper. Write down each category and start to reflect on some of the things that you would want to see in your life in each of those categories. Coming up with a vision board is something that actually takes a lot of intentionality, it takes a lot of effort into researching um, and really like looking into your life and what it is you want to see in your life. And so I definitely advise you guys to take your time. Once you have done all of this, you can now finally start working on your vision board. So let's get into it. So for starters, you are definitely going to need manila paper. Um, the size, honestly guys, is entirely up to you. For me, I chose yellow because yellow is my favorite color. Um, so that's what I'm going to be working with. And then when I'm done, I'm going to be putting the manila paper... I'm going to be putting the manila paper into a picture frame just to prevent it from becoming stained or tainted and torn throughout the duration of the year. So I'm going to be having two versions of my vision board essentially. The first one is obviously the manila paper which I'm going to be putting into the picture frame. And then the second one is um, this like sketchbook that I found. Um, I found it as a plain black sketchbook and then I just thought it was a bit too plain. So obviously I had to decorate it with yellow um, and I just put like a really cute quote on it and a sticker and some like pretty paper at the back just to make it look a little prettier, um, just to make it look a little more decorative. Um, this is my second form of my vision board where I'm going to be putting the exact same pictures as the ones I'm going to be putting on the manila paper but I'm just going to like then elaborate on the how, the when and the why for each goal and like each page is going to have its, its own theme. I'm big on journaling so it's just so that I always have something to refer back to. Other things that you're going to need are a pair of scissors, paper glue or print glue whichever you want to use. Um, pretty markers, colors, stickers, magazine cutouts, whatever it is that you would want to decorate your manila paper with. So without further ado, I'm going to go to the desk behind me and then we're going to work from the desk for the rest of the duration of the video. The pictures I'm going to be using Pinterest to find my pictures for my vision board. Pinterest is for me is honestly the, the easiest one to use and it's the most efficient. You can obviously also use Google, you can use like magazine cutouts and you can also use Instagram but for me Pinterest is just it's so much easier and the pictures are for me so much nicer. So I'm going to be showing you guys how I do it and how you guys can do it as well and I hope it's helpful. I'm on Pinterest right now so let's say one of your travel goals is paris you can just type paris at the top yeah and then pictures of paris will come up and you'll have like so many different options to pick from and then to save the pictures i'm going to be using canva if you go to create design they give you the option of an a4 document you find the picture that you want and then you copy image if you don't want to have to save it onto your cam onto your laptop command and v and then it'll automatically go onto your canva page and you can reshape it and resize it however you want to okay so i'm just going to show you guys me looking up my pictures and all the pictures that i want and then i'm gonna come back to you Can look here this is my a4 document and um these so they have so many different texts and you can literally just pick whichever you want which fancies you i think i'm gonna pick this one um some of them are free some of them you have to pay like through your subscription you then sorry i'm trying to juggle this you then type whatever you want to type okay so for example 
give thanks because it's probably going to be like a thanksgiving year and you can also move it around put it wherever you want to make it however big or small you want to make it you can literally change the color if you want to um to make it yellow or whatever color you want to use canva is very accommodating for creatives and it's just like literally the perfect thing for this you can literally just go crazy with it um so yeah so once you are done you can now download your page or whatever you've been working on so you go to the top right corner and you press download you have to download it they'll give you like many different options and you have to download it as a pdf print um when it says all pages you can either download all pages or for me i was working on page one and page three so those are the ones i'm gonna download press done download and then it'll start to download for you as you can see on the bottom so there. i'm finally done and i've printed out my pictures here they are so now i'm just gonna cut out the pictures oh look, okay actually let me explain the pictures okay so here there's like pictures of friends you know like friendship goals look obviously like i'm a youtuber now so i've got youtube goals as well these are like travel goals travel goals new york these are quotes this one says the world was made to be seen by my eyes so those are like affirmations that i'm saying to myself like god created the world not so i could live in one area and just only ever see one country but so that i could see everything like he made everything beautiful so that i could see it um I think if i put my mind to it i can achieve it the world was made to be seen by my eyes um and different like pictures yeah these are travel goals guys sorry i don't think you're gonna be able to see all of this okay there we go okay so there's travel goals there's apartment goals travel goals girl boss and like you've got orders and you've got sh you're shipping out like so many orders those are keys like apartment keys and 40 under 40 money goals order goals car goals um books that i want to read travel goals friendship goals um fitness goals guys if you live in zimbabwe you know miss chindia is literally fitness goals um there we go fitness goals this is this page is mostly for fitness goals okay i've also got books to read books that um 15 books that everyone must read those are positive affirmations graduating um i've got a blank check over there not gonna work but yeah that's a blank check um which you will then write to yourself and like how much you would want so essentially like how much you would want in your bank account yeah so these are my pictures i'm pretty happy with them so now that i've got the pictures i'm gonna start cutting them up and then we can start sticking just um finished cutting up all the pictures quickly show you here they are um i'm happy like we're moving so the next thing is i'm going to start to organize the the pictures i'd already started actually and then i'm going to stick them on and then i will show you guys the finished result <laughs> Um, it's a little later on in the day that's why lighting is probably looking a bit darker but i'm done and i'm ready to show you guys the finished product <laughs> um here we go okay sorry the ring light is really yeah th there we go i'm really happy with this i'm super proud of myself like this is my first vision board um it's looking really colorful i love the way the yellow is popping um yeah i'm pretty happy let me let me put it at the back so that we can enjoy it okay so that's the vision board at the back um okay i don't think you can see it properly but yeah that's the vision board i'm pretty happy with the way it turned out i'm pretty excited hopefully it will stay put the whole year and 
if you're not much of like a pictorial person or like a craft person you can do a digital vision board which you then put like as your screensaver on your phone on your laptop a lot of people find that very useful so every time like when you wake up that's what you're seeing first that's what you're seeing and you're envisioning yourself um, and you're manifesting it if you made it this far into the video thank you so much I hope that you liked it and I hope that it was successful and it was helpful for you if you do end up doing a vision board please post it on your Instagram and if you post it on your Instagram please tag me I wish you all the best with your 2021 guys this is my favorite time of the year literally so I really hope that you are hopeful about your 2021 I hope that you enjoy your year that you slay your goals and you become the best version of yourself that you can be Mwah.